Hello guys, welcome to a new great video and in this video we are going to go over a VLAN happen attack that we are going to be performing with the Kali Linux computer that we have over here on my GNS3 topology. As you can see right here, it is plugged in into a switch and this is for the CCNS security that I'm going to take in about two or three months. I'm going to be taking that. As you can see, I'm more than halfway there. And we already went and described what a VLAN hopping attack was. And we also, on that video, went over the STP attacks um, that you can perform. But in this video, we are going to perform a VLAN hopping attack. And then in another video, I'm going to um, do some STP attacks and how to stop it. So let's go ahead to my GNS3 topology. And from over here, um, the tool that we're going to be using is called Jersinia. Um, so you're going to launch this and then it's going to bring up this um, CMD and what you could do from here is do Jersinia and then capital G to launch it. Um, as you can see we have um, Jersinia launched and from over here we are going to be able to um, get some traffic. As you can see we are, we are getting STP packets. If you go to the STP tab you can see that we are getting STP packets or BBDU packets on the switch. So what happens is that, as you can see, we have got a DTP packet already. Um, so what happened is that this, the switches, the way they work by default um, out of the box, what happened is that the DTP or dynamic trunking protocol um, always tries to um, make a trunk between two switches. So it always tries to send over and over, over and over. I want to be a trunk, I want to be a trunk, and I want to be a trunk by default and this is uh, really bad um, for the switch out of the box because what I'm about to do anybody could do it so this is an attack that anybody could do it if you don't have your switch configured um, correctly to stop this so from here um, from your senior you want to do a launch attack and then you want to do to enable trunking and before I do that let's go ahead and bring up the switch that I have open right here so from here let's go ahead and do a show interfaces um, trunk actually trunk now as you can see we're not trunking with anybody so what this attack is going to allow me to do is going to allow me to um, create a trunk between the switch that is plugged into the Kali Linux so the Kali Linux is actually going to tell the switch that it wants to become a trunk so there it is so now what's happening if you go to the switch and we do show interfaces trunk you're going to see that we have a trunk now hmm and the native villain is one so it is now trunking and it's using 802.1q encapsulation and the mode that it is set up to be it is auto so when it was auto i just sent a traffic or a ttp packet um has a desirable saying that i wanted to be a trunk and then we became a trunk with this um, switch so now I'm able to get into any of these VLANs, so um, we, I'm able to use VLAN 1 and whatever VLAN is configured on this trunk and get access to the switch and sniff all the traffic from it. And from here, what you could do is you can launch an attack. So if you go to launch attack again, uh, what you could do is you can do go to 802.1q and you can say you can send an 802.1q double encapsulation package, and that means is that we are going to double tag and if you send that you should be able to um, send that and get access to that network it is as easy as that so what you have to do is if you do show IP interface brief um, so what you want to do is you want to stop this um, attack from happening so what you want to do is you want to first make those um, those interfaces into an access port so I want to do all of them and we're going to do a range. It's going to be gigabit zero slash zero all the way to three, right? Um, and then we have to go to one, to actually gigabit one, zero, all the way to three. And then, and then we do gigabit two, zero, all the way to three. And then we do a gigabit three, slash zero all the way to gigabit three and here's the range so from this range what you want to do is go ahead and configure switch port mode you want to configure as an access port and that's going to should get rid of that um should get rid of this trunking 
right here so we should we are not trunking anymore I believe we do if we do a uh, do show IP interface brief or do show I uh, so do show interface trunk and as you can see we do not have any trunk over here so what you want to do now is it is still going to send DTP packets on that port so what you want to do is do a switch port no negotiate and that's going to stop um, sending DTP packets on that um, on that port right because you want to just stop that um, you want to stop every all that DTP from sending packets on, from trying to create a what is called a trunking right because uh, out of the box the switch keeps trying to um, do a trunk between another switch so it's always just asking and asking and asking become a trunk with me become a trunk become a trunk so the the way to stop it is make it an access port and then do a no negotiate and then also after that what you could do is if you want to do a you want to create another v9 because you don't want to use um, the default v9 so you create another v9 and then you go back to all the all the interfaces and you can do, do a switch for access vnn and you can do the vnn that you just created vnn5 right so that is a good way to stop this so you do a switch port mode access and then switch port no negotiate to stop this dtp packets from going over and then you can just um, get rid of that um, default vnn uh, of vlan1 okay so that is a way that you can perform a VLAN hybrid attack really easy and really fast with your Xenia and Kali Linux and then I show you guys how you can stop that attack and if you see you can do a do show interface trunk you can see that we, we don't have any trunks anymore so this is it for this video guys I hope you guys um, enjoy this video and if you enjoy, enjoy this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also hey go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye bye